Hey everybody, David here, welcome to Brick Vault and in front of me here you can see that I got two builds for you today. We have the Separatist B1 and B2 battle droid from the builder Bobacat. These custom creations are based on the iconic clankers from the Star Wars prequels which served in a ton of battles and missions for the confederacy of independent systems throughout the years of the Clone Wars. The cheap and easily expandable nature of the B1 made it one of the most efficient and best valued soldier in the history of the Star Wars galaxy and at almost 6.5 feet or 2 meters height you definitely didn't want to come across one on your way home at night without a lightsaber. Although you could probably easily outsmart them since the earlier regular B1 variant wasn't the brightest tactician and for some reason the CIS gave them regular blasters which you could just take from a defeated or distracted B1, like why? The B2 battle droid on the other hand was much more advanced and eliminated the obvious design flaw by integrating the blaster to the wrist itself. Generally your chances of survival are much slimmer if you encounter this war machine as a regular citizen of the Galactic Republic. Later models were also equipped with rocket launchers which made them even more frightening. You can be relieved though neither of those regular variant droids were capable of formulating strategies making them dependent on tactical droids or organic commanders. But before I show you these cool builds in more detail I wanted to tell you that you can actually build both models for yourself. For that just head on over to our website www.brickvault.toys or click the link in the description to get the digital PDF instructions and parts list for not only the battle droids but hundreds of other creations too. All of our models have been tested physically you can find review videos for all of them here on YouTube and if you need help with ordering the pieces we also have a tutorial on our website that guides you through the easy process step by step. So yeah that is www.brickvault.toys if you're interested and let's get back to the video. Starting with the B1, this buildable battle droid has 363 parts and stands around 27 to 28 centimeters tall or roughly 11 inches. First thing you're gonna notice is that this B1 has some really dynamic and impressive posability. That is possible thanks to the joints in the arms that feature hinges so you can rotate them on several different axes. That way you can make the droid look like it's holding the guns with both hands for example. Same for the legs which feature knees that are bendable on two axes and can be rotated too for some dynamic stances as you would do with any other action figure. You also have a hinge on the feet for the toes. You can see me getting the B1 back to its default stand in real time so you can see that handling this model is actually fairly self-explanatory and uncomplicated. The only two weak spots I found are the connection between the upper and lower body. Uh, I'm not too sure though if I just had bad luck with the parts here as Technic pieces usually have a fairly strong connection to studs but keep that in mind while handling and posing the model. The other weak spot I found to be much less frustrating if you keep the head mostly in the same position which I usually do and if it breaks it's obviously a really simple repair just popping the studs back together and you're good to go. You also have the option to remove the backpack and replace the two open anti studs with a 1x2 inverted curved slope that is also included in the parts list but personally I really like the build for the backpack and I'm also a big fan of the scenes on Naboo where they are still controlled by a separatist control ship through those backpacks so I'm gonna leave it on on mine. The gun can be removed too if you wanted to do so and one thing I obviously needed to try is to get it into its folded up position as it gets deployed from an MTT. Unfortunately the joints don't quite allow for that much range of motion but you can trust me here that I had a good laugh seeing this pathetic B1 in this fetal position. Now switching over to the B2 Super Battle Droid. This is a really strong and solid build. It is almost 30 centimeters or 12 inches tall and has 645 pieces. Plus both models are really cheap to build too. We have some really nice shaping for the chest of the model and I really like the details in the stomach area. It has some really impressive posability too. Very similar if not the same as the B1 but obviously without the motion of the head as that's famously integrated into its body. This model is a little easier to handle because it is so solid and robust. I haven't found any weak spots on it yet and I've been handling it around for a couple of days now. Only thing to mention here is that this model is very top heavy which is inevitable obviously but setting up the model is still very easy. The ball joints maybe could use a little bit more friction, maybe try getting them in new condition instead of used like I did. Other than that the model is really easy to handle and you can see me here again getting it into pose so you can see how easy it is to manipulate the extremities. It also has its wrist blasters as it should be and you can see that the head is placed at an angle which was satisfying to both. 
world. Generally, the model was a really nice building experience, almost identical to an official Lego set. I don't think the B2 has a specific pose for storage like the B1 does, so I unfortunately can't show you anything as funny, but here's the B2 in the downward dog yoga position to make up for it. Anyways, I think these two models go really nicely together, especially if you're a fan of the prequels and the separatists. In my opinion, they would look exceptionally nice next to our general Grievous bust by builder Martin Lego Design. I again don't have the physical model at the studio right now, but I think you get the idea. As with all of our builds, you can find the instructions and parts list at brickworld.toys, but you already know that, so there's nothing left to say other than thank you for watching. Please consider liking the video and subscribing for more cool LEGO creations. Let me know in the comments what models you would like to see us make here at the studio. I'm gonna take a look at all of your ideas and we'll see you next time at BrickVault!